Hello guys and welcome to this unboxing and first look at the Audio Technica 2500 or 2500 uh, cardioid condenser USB microphone. Um, I bought this off of Amazon US. I'm a, uh, I'm a UK citizen. I live in the United Kingdom. Um, but it was a lot cheaper, including um, the sort of like import fees. It was a lot cheaper to get it from the US uh, Amazon site. So head on over there if you want to pick this up. It was I think it was like forty six pounds I picked it up for. Um, and on the UK site there in the hundreds sort of thing so it's, it's a really good saving um, just looking around the box you've got the actual microphone here inside the box you've got a picture of it there uh, with the laptop just there you've got the Audio Technica branding just up there which I'm not sure you can see with the flash but there it is Audio Technica just there just focusing on that one on the top there you have uh, let's get that in focus for you if I can do, there you go, you've got ATR 2500 USB cardioid condenser USB microphone um, on there with the, if I just get it out of the flash, the Audio Technica branding just in the top left right there. On the side is not much, a picture of a sort of spirally something um, with the Audio Technica branding there too. On this side we have nothing much either. Again, we have some more writing about it, basically saying what it is, the product. Um, on the back, we have the contents, basically. So it includes the microphone itself, the USB cable, the tripod, and this little hook thingy, Bobby, that it sits into on the tripod. Um, then down here, you just got some like specifications. Um, and in different languages, so I'm not going to read all them out, but however I will bring them closer and focus specifically on them, and you can uh, pause this video if you want to read any of those specifications, or the uh, the bit on the left, but basically it is plug and play, you don't need any uh, special drivers, as it says just there, if you read that. Uh, now... It's got a large diaphragm with the studio condenser microphone uh, USB out for output for easy connection to your computer. Ideal for podcasting, home studio recording, field recording and voiceover use. Built in headphone jack and headphone volume control. And it is both Windows and Mac compatible. Now if I just cut into this tape on the side just here. And here we shall get into the box and see what we got. So, and this little flap just here. I hate these flaps. They really don't do boxes any favors at all. Okay, so just open that there. We'll pull out the insides. There we go. Just close the box up just here. Quickly chuck that in there, like so, and there we go. So put that just over there to one side. Whilst we take a look inside the box, so there's a lot of plastic banging around. But you have your uh, standard user manual, as you'd expect with any product. It's not very thick, it's just a really thin, quick start guide, I should imagine. So put that to one side. Um, this is what it looks like in plastic packaging. It's very heavy. It has a fair bit of weight to it. So in the box you get your USB cable, which looks relatively long. So that's all good and well. Put that just over there to one side. Then we have the clip for the tripod. Just put that over there as well. And then you have the tripod itself with its legs, you know, that obviously spread out into a sort of tri shape, a triangle. And 
the main piece of the kit is the microphone itself. Now, it does have this awesome little uh, headphone jack. Just here is a normal 3.5mm uh, headphone jack, and that is basically for self monitoring. So you can listen to yourself talk to make sure that all the volumes are correct and um, you're not too loud, not too quiet, etc. Stuff like that. You have a little LED just here where my thumb is that is blue in colour and that basically shows you when the microphone is active and in use. You have these two buttons. They are volume buttons that are very hard to press and don't feel like you're pressing a button at all actually. <laughs> it feels very very plasticky and fake those buttons because the microphone itself looks beautiful and it is really it's got some weight to it because it is actual like the whole thing is made of metal um, however these buttons do feel really really cheap and tacky which is a bit of a downside to the microphone itself but nevertheless you've got the uh, USB just under there and the cardioid uh, polar around the whole thing so you can uh, it blocks out background noise and surrounding noise which is awesome so thumbs up for Audio Technica for doing that for this microphone now I shall do a picture of the um, of the microphone on the tripod so if you give me a second and I shall be back with it all together and there you go guys that is the microphone in all its glory um, in the tripod. Now, putting that in, I did just realise that it <laughs> is actually very heavy because if you just give it like a little tap, it does sink down on its own and fall over. As you can see, it's not very safe at all. And there is no means to tighten in this up. It's on a there is a screw, but um, I'm not sure that's actually going to make any difference in tightening it. So you have to kind of have it on a sort of raised position just so it doesn't fall over. And as you can see in the picture, it is raised a little bit anyway. So that could be the general stance of it. Um, so yeah, basically that is it, guys. That is the microphone, uh, the Audio-Technica ATR2500. Um, that's the first look and unboxing. Now the next voice you will hear is me using the microphone itself. I'm going to ins insert a short clip of me actually using it so you can see the sound quality that it produces. You will notice an obvious difference between the microphone I'm using now because it's not as expensive as this one. Um, so yeah, feel free to drop a like guys, share this video and I shall see you in my very next one. Peace out. So guys, this is me using the ATR2500 Audio-Technica Cardioid Condenser Microphone. Um, I'm using the sound recorder, the basic sound recorder on a Windows computer. And yeah, I forgot to mention in the video that this microphone does have a lifetime warranty, so that is top job to audio technique to providing that um, now this microphone to get my voice this loud the microphone is literally not even a foot away from me and um, I've had to turn the sensitivity up to a hundred through the window settings for it to pick up my voice for it to be this loud so that is something to bear in mind is where you position the microphone and how, lo how loud you're gonna have to make the response um, because like I said this is on maximum and my voice is kind of in an okay position to be heard but it's not you know it's not extreme so it's, it's something to take into consideration um, but I will be using this microphone for my future commentaries on my gaming channel so if you want to pop over there and uh, you know check out some of my newer videos that's when I'll be using the uh, ATR 2500 and that's about it guys I think. I don't think I have much more to say. I just wanted to throw this video out with this added extra voice clip to show the quality and sound of the microphone itself. Now it is picking up a little bit of um, 
uh, uh, background noise, which is kind of annoying because it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to have this like the whole polar cardioid thingy going around it to not pick up any background noise, but it's picking up noise from my fans, I think, on my PC. However, it's at least two to three foot away from my PC, so it's it's kind of weird on, on how it's how it's doing and when you push the buttons on the on the front of the mic as I shown in the video when you push those you can hear them click it's a really inconvenient place to put buttons on a recording device if you get what I mean because it's just you know you're pushing these buttons and it's it's internal that it's clicking so it's just really not a good idea on this microphone however I'd give it probably about a seven out of ten so it's, it's quite a high rating um, but feel free to go and pick it up yourself guys and give it a go so I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and first look just uh, yeah check it out if you want to buy one and I'll see you in my very next video peace out guys